Welcome back to another episode on our hunt for the Giants of Georgian Bay. Today's episode, we're prospecting the waters for That's gold. That's something good. Yeah, really good. Let's see if the fall gold rush has begun. <laughs> Money, fame, status, gold. As far back in history we can look, people have always chased these markers for success. But is this what they are really after? Or are they just chasing the feeling of striking it rich and accomplishing something no one else is? For me, it's not the next catch I'm chasing, but the knowledge, skills, and spots to know I can be successful anytime I'm on the water. That's where the real gold lies. Pickles should be moving back towards their spawning locations from their open water journeys and summer haunts, but the water is still warmer than typical for this time of year. Our strategy is to start by fishing large flats near known spawning areas and move out towards open water until we find the bait and fish. With the warm water, pickies are likely to stay deep, but the overcast conditions will make them more active and could bring them higher in the water column. To add to the challenge, the wind is blowing hard, which makes long runs and staying on offshore spots difficult. Uh, I'm seeing fish on top of bottom, but it's hard to tell because they were bouncing so much, but I'm pretty sure there's fish down there. Oh yeah, there's fish. Robo worming kind of copper juice color. <laughs> First cast. No, it's just small. Oh, and you know. Oh, two casts in a row. Yeah. I just spit out something white. Know what it is? Shoot that goji.
After hitting a number of key spots and marking tons of fish with nothing but bass, either the pickies have not arrived yet or are a lot deeper than we have been working on these spots. It's time to make some adjustments. That's something good. Yeah, really good. Oh yeah, big, big picky. Real big picky. Get that bad boy in here! Woohoohoohoo! <laughs> 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 and the hook's out! Oh, I'm gonna need a picture of this one. Oh no! 'cause it's a big bait and it was like just felt like it was just nicking it. But then as soon as I set the hook it was like oh that's heavy. The good thing about fall is all fish species start piling into similar areas and you never know what is going to bite your line. As the sun starts to go down, any pickerel in the area should rise in the water column and become more active. This will be the best test to see if they have moved in and we were just fishing too shallow all day. Big mark right down below at the front of the boat. Great big mark at the front of the boat. And it's not going anywhere.
bumped it. I'm playing with one like ice fishing, but it came up and it bumped it, but it didn't take it. Oh, I forgot, like, I got two or three of them playing with it, coming up after it. You're gonna have to go through the old fish handler disease all over again. They keep coming they keep chasing my jig up if I if I lift it, but they won't bite. Oh, another good picky. Oh, I got the net up here, so it should be eight. Oh. Wrist breaker. Look at that there, let's lay. anymore a couple good marks right at the front here now are those ever good marks please don't go anywhere Come on, you're just going to come up right to it and just not bite? That's some bullshit right there. Came all the way up right to it, kissed it. We may have not struck it rich today, but things are looking good for the rest of the season, and the gold rush should be in full swing soon.